Hi, I'm Pat Fume. I've been a realtor for over 30 years. I'm a host of the American Dream Show. Welcome to my show. Is this for real estate? Welcome back. I'm here with Trina Davis. She's one of my past clients and one of my favorites. We're also birthday buddies. We have yes. the same birthday. <laughs> I won't say what years differences, but we're both birthday buddies. Yes. We're both on March 25th, and she's one of my favorite clients of all time. Uh, thank definitely you for having me here today. Yeah, so really thank, appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Ah, my, my pleasure. So you've bought a house, and when you bought your last house, it was actually a market similar to what we're in now. Yes. You, you were like, what, 2008-ish? Yeah. So it was, was like it? Uh, 2016, actually. Yeah, yeah, it was like, okay, we started looking before that. Oh, yes. Many when years the market before. was like this, and you <laughs> had some things you had to do. Yes, I wanted to, to make sure that I got my credit and everything is, you know, squared away. And you were really, like, instrumental in helping me make sure that I got those things you know took the steps needed to make sure that my credit was strong and, and we everything. got your loan officer to kind of credit counsel you to make things as strong as possible oh, yes, because we sure. were starting to get the bidding wars even then when you first started looking and then we waited a little bit and yes. he made you as strong as possible because you're also a veteran yes. and VA, VA loans, loans are very <laughs> hard to get you know, when you're in bidding wars to get a veteran loan, you got to be as strong as possible. Unfortunately, they'll go with the cash or the conventional, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, but a, a VA loan, you have to be 100% top notch, everything. Yes. And, uh, and you're a great veteran too. Thank you for your service. Oh, it's my so order, how did you feel other than that part of it? When we started looking again in 2016, you know, the market was actually in, in, a, in a bidding war situation back then too. It wasn't as bad as now, but it was starting. Yes, yes. Um, I felt comfortable. I mean, you were like really instrumental, like I said, into making me feel comfortable, like going around to the different neighborhoods and finding what I needed. I mean, mm -hmm. I appreciated your honesty and making sure that I didn't get uh, something that was too like extravagant, like it was fit my needs for my family. Absolutely. And that was very important. That was very important to me. <laughs> and sometimes you changed areas and pivoted a little bit. I think you mostly looked at Marlton. Yes, Marlton is an area that I really felt safe in and yeah. really wanted to stay in. Yes, for sure. So anything happening recently you want to talk about? or? Uh, right now, um, like I said, my daughter, she's off to college. Oh, um, I'm in nursing. Makes and me she's feel old. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't at all. She's in nursing um, and I'm going to school um, working full time as a nurse at the That's VA hospital in Philly. And I'm also going to school full time for our computer forensics. So that's wow. something, yes. That yeah. should be and exciting. Yes, yes, I'm looking to get with a like government Like the CSI agency. kind of stuff, right? Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. If you're committing a crime like on an electronic device, I'm gonna you be might to be you. the one who <laughs> figures out who did it, right? Yes. You're busted. That's a great career. Yes, I'm looking forward uh, to doing exciting. that. It's exciting. I, I always love those shows where they're the ones that put all the pieces together, you know? Yes, or, yes. <laughs> yeah. So what made you want to get into forensics after I, I, going to I, nursing school for so I know well, you went to nursing school a long time while you were working another job but you were going to nursing school right? Yes but yeah. I also wanted to be able to continue to help people and mm -hmm. there's a lot of human trafficking that goes on oh, yeah. and I wanted to make sure that I could be there to kind of help catch the bad guys because it's very important to me well, having a daughter of my own you know yeah. God forbid she's you know going to school in the city and I want to make sure that she's safe and others are safe as well. Yeah, you know, that's a very thing. noble thing, and yeah. I'm sure you're going to be wonderful at it. Uh, so, thank you. How long do you have to go to school to be a forensic person? Uh, a forensic person. four year degree. <laughs> it's a four year <laughs> degree. <laughs> Having went to nursing school, that did help because that gave me some uh, years so of college. So, you probably to cut some cut of that, that off. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So, I started in August of 2021. I'll be oh, finishing wow. uh, May of next year. Awesome. So, That's yeah, great. I'm looking forward to doing that. Yeah. And then I guess you have to do some kind of internship or something yes, when you get I that. Yes. I have got to do an internship and um, you've been nice enough to refer your, <laughs> your friend Sam to me who's referring me to a couple of agencies out there. So I'm looking forward to getting picked yeah. up by some government agency for my internship. Well, that would be Definitely. nice. Definitely yeah. I'm a full service realtor. I help people get jobs. <laughs> I've actually fixed people up and got married too. <laughs> Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. So kind of a jack of all trades. <laughs> yeah, a little jack bit of everything. <laughs> jack of all trades for sure. So wait, where do you, do you, are you going to stay local, I guess, when you get your forensics? Um, probably, are they I'll probably stay on the work? East Coast for sure. Okay. For sure, uh, if I can find something in Jersey, that'd be great. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it'll probably end up uh, probably in Virginia, D.C., somewhere in that where area. most of those yes. agencies probably are. A lot of them, like, are headquartered yeah. there, yes, for sure. Actually, a friend of mine, her daughter got into that, and they moved to Virginia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. area because she got in she was doing that for a while but then she did stop because she got pregnant again and then <laughs> well, she I'm, had done, I'm done with the, I'm done with the, with the children but 
Well, she had yeah. an oops that she didn't expect, and that was kind of like <laughs> led to, you know. But she misses it. I actually saw her at a, at a, at, a, at a something a couple of years ago, and she's like, "I really missed it. I loved it." You know. Yes. Yes. So. Uh, that's another way for to serve my country. Yeah. It's like, you know. uh, absolutely. And you're being a veteran, and now you're going to be. Uh, yeah, being a veteran, a nurse, and a forensic person are all ways to serve and help people. Yes. And that's a lot of service. Thank you. Oh, it was my honor. So my anything honor. else, you, tips for buyers today with these bidding words mm -hmm. that you can think of? Um, I would just say make sure it's something that you want. I mean, and it may not be like, like don't you may get want, caught up in this. Yes, don't get caught up in the bidding wars. You know, definitely don't get more home than you can afford. Um, also, Believe it or not, you may look at a home and be like, oh, no, I can't do that. You know, I don't like that home. But like the home that you showed me, I loved it. You know, as a first time buyer, I think you kind of have like these really huge ideal like dreams. Yeah. And like, oh, I will get everything under the sun and I won't take anything less than that. But it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Like my home didn't check off every single tick box. I feel like that's kind of like an unrealistic thing. Yeah. But it still ended up being the perfect home for us because you can do yeah. some simple things like pull up the carpet and replace it with, you know, like right. any type of like flooring. And that's what I did for like you make it your home. own. Yes. You Put your own your personal own. spin on it. And I, it worked out wonderfully for us. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some people get caught up in the bidding wars too. And they, everybody wants something when everybody else wants it, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. I, there's so many bidding wars where like the person who won backs out. Mm -hmm. They're like, I really don't want that house. I want this other house, you know. So I, I can't seem to make up my mind here. I've seen that happen too. And don't like put all your eggs in one basket. Like I said, when yeah. you're going out looking with your realtor, be open. Like I said, keep an open mind. You know, yeah. have a couple of them, not like 10. But you know, you can normally narrow it down to about three or four houses that you want. That right. way, if forgot you forgot it doesn't fall through, right. yes. You know, you're not heartbroken. Well, I always feel like you get the house you're supposed to get. Like people will yes. lose a house in a bidding war. And I told you this, I think there was a couple you lost. Mm -hmm. And I said, it's not the house you're supposed to have. And usually when you find that house, whether it's really true or it's psychosomatic kind mm -hmm. of thing, like, you know, you really say, I love this house so much better. I'm glad I didn't get that other house. You yes. know, that does happen quite a bit. One of the things that happened when I first moved into our home, it was like, right like a big winter storm. And I was like, oh my goodness, you know, my fiance at the time, he was really had just had a rotator cuff surgery. Ooh. And like, I, I was out, yeah, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. out shoveling snow. And that's how I met my neighbors. The first thing, like, you know, she was like, hi, my name is Patty, and this is my husband, Bob. And she was like, Bob, get it. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, Bob, get a shovel. You know, I introduced myself. I'm like, hi, I'm Trina. And she was like, Bob, get a shovel, help Trina. You know, I told her what was going on with my fiance. And she's like, oh, for sure, we'll help out. And I was like, this is the perfect neighborhood. And that's shortly great. after moving into it makes you my, feel welcome. Oh, yeah, it was, it was great. Easy. And, yeah. and uh, it's something also that happened that really touched my heart and made me feel like, God, I'm so glad I listened to Pat and like got this neighbor, you know, this home. Uh -huh. Because a few days after moving in, my next door neighbor, and I thought that was something that happened back in the day, she brought over flowers and she knew I had a young child. So I she remember. brought home you, you homemade cookies. You sent me a picture cookies. of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you sent me a picture and of them. And that really touched me. I was like, that's this sweet. is perfect for me and my yeah. family. So it really meant a lot to me. It and really that, made that's me really know. rare today. Like yes, a lot it of people, is. People used to bring cookies or casserole or something, but today mm -hmm. people don't. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. like you're luckily a lot of some people don't even just wave to neighbors, but then there's a neighborhood like you're in where people actually talk and communicate. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I know my daughter in law, my daughter's brother and sister in law, like they're in a neighborhood like that in mm -hmm. Voorhees, and they're like, they don't want to move. They wanted a bigger house, but they don't want to leave their neighbors because they love their neighborhood so much. And that's like, how I feel. And yeah, that's, that matters and that's a lot. That, I feel like it really does. And it really does. It's so funny. We moved three years ago mm -hmm. and I had two houses I wanted and I was heartbroken and I'm really upset. And I wound up getting the house I thought was a little more than I wanted to spend. But everybody's telling me, everybody told me, look at that house, look at that house. I didn't mm -hmm. want to look at it because I knew if I looked at it, I would want it. I was like, no, you know, <laughs> and it wound up being the house we wound up buying and I love my house. So it's like, it's true. And that's how I feel now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's, it's not just a house, it's a home. Do you have any funny stories you tell at cocktail parties or anything like what you're, uh, that happened while looking at houses you can it's, think of? It's, it's like not funny. I just remember like when we first went into the neighborhood, I was thinking, I'm never going to be able to find this neighborhood. Like in the daytime, <laughs> we went at night. You used to but, say, can, you, can I call you and you'll yes. tell me how to get there? I don't know where I'm at. I live here. <laughs> yes, but believe it or not, it's so funny. I look back onto that now and it's like, 
it was so easy. But it, I think it was just like the initial, just going at night. And then I went back in the daytime. I was like, oh, it's easy peasy to get here. Yeah, it was yeah. close to my daughter's high school and everything. So it was just like perfect. Perfect. Well, you yeah. know, I think that happens because we're out looking at a lot of houses and mm -hmm. you get confused like where you're coming from. Like right. look, sometimes, sometimes we would go out and look at like five or six houses mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're all turned around and twisted around, you yeah. know. And I don't know, do we have GPS? I think we had GPS. We had GPS, then, yeah. yeah, we had GPS. Because I, yeah. I used to drive with the maps on my on my lap and have to oh, turn wow. and it says turn the next page so many people bought houses for me because they didn't want to get in the car with me again because they were terrified to drive with me with the map on my lap no, no. <laughs> one wife actually told me my husband bought the for one of the first houses i showed him was he wasn't getting back in the car with me because <laughs> i made him nervous with the map on my <laughs> oh my goodness i'm not going back in there Thank God for GPS. You know? Yes, GPS is our godsend, for sure, for sure. Oh, I'm so thankful you came in. It was great to see you. Oh, it's good to see oh, you, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, been, we've been buddies, Bra birthday Bra buddies and friends and talk. We still talk yes. all the time. Yes, we have the yes. same birthday, so we always call each other, text each yes. other, Facebook each other. Happy birthday every year. Yes, for, yeah. sure, for sure. Well, thank you for coming. Oh, I'm so glad you came. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure to all be right. here.